Greetings, friends. Welcome to the end of the year. Let's put a nice shiny bow on 2022 and talk about the top 10 products of the year. We'll give you a couple disclaimers um, momentarily, but before we do that, thank you to today's and in general sponsor of the channel. Uh, Peace of Mind Guns, they are based here in Utah. They carry a bunch of really nice gear, um, ranging from PWS to uh, Q, to Langdon, Langdon to uh, CGS, to yeah. all kinds of stuff, right? So check them out. Uh, if you subscribe to our Patreon, you will have access to a Patreon-only code to save a few bucks on their website. I do believe they will have uh, the code 1911 that you can just plug in for any of our general viewers and I don't know, maybe they get you a patch or something. So you can plug that in. I'm not sure what you'll get, but a little little trinket at the very least. But anyway, check them out. Uh, good people, uh, great customer service, great products. Check them out. Yeah. That said, um, oh, and we would also appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. I, I've been uh, ridiculed by our, our editor behind the camera here for not saying that more often, and I don't want to get hit anymore by him. So please subscribe to the channel um, so the abuse can stop. Okay, let's um, get into the top 10. The disclaimer on this is these are not necessarily the 10 products that were released this year, but featured on the channel this year. Okay. What's the difference, Jake? Well, we might have reviewed something that was released three years ago, but we didn't have it three years ago. We had it on the channel this year. Oh, I see what you're saying. You see where I'm go. going, yeah. right? <clears throat> um, because it can just be tough to keep up with the right here, right now, constantly getting yeah. new products, right? And I would also tell you we exclude any, like, total unicorns in the sense of, like, they simply cannot be got by civilians, right? Like an sure. MP7 where you're like, hey, that's not fair. sure, yeah. but no one can actually get it. So these are things that you can <laughs> get. So with that said, I guess let's jump in with uh, number ten, which number 10. and we're going to alternate back yeah. and forth. So let's let's kick it off. Number ten, which this doesn't mean it's the worst out of the ten. It's just we had to choose ten, and we're going to alternate back and forth. Well, think for about me. everything that didn't make it. Number ten yeah. saying something. Yeah. yeah, I think so. For me, number ten for this year is the Collis that we reviewed that K18i. Mm -hmm. So I've tried to find a LPVO or low powered variable optic for you guys that don't know. Um, that works with my astigmatism. Mm -hmm. And I've tried some Night Force stuff, some Vortex stuff, and to me, that Collis hit the nail on the head, man. Yeah. I really like it, clear glass, really intuitive, reticle. Um, for whatever reason, my eye works well with it, mm -hmm. so I don't know if it's because of the quality of the optic, I'm, I'm assuming so, but I really enjoyed yeah. running that optic. Yeah, I mean, the glass is basically perfect. We um, ran it on the SCAR, we ran it on my Militia Works rifle. PWS, it ran PWS. on. PWS. Um, it's been on a bunch of stuff. It's been on quite, quite a few guns, and yeah, I mean, definitely a premium tiered, uh, you know, uh, scope. Yeah. But hey, if you got the budget for it, damn good pick. Good option, right? So. So, that's number 10. On to number nine. Coming in at the number nine spot, this would be my pick, we have the Korth in excess, <laughs> it's good pick. Um, so I love this thing. Um, we, we were just saying, I will probably never shoot more than a couple hundred rounds through this thing. Uh, I largely own it because I like it. I just like you it. You know, this is one sure. of those like passion guns for me where it's like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I think it's cool in a, you know, in an environment like this where you do have more wild animals that might might need to get handled. Um, sure. You know. Why like, though? Because you can run what what calibers? Thirty-eight or three. It's chambered in three fifty-seven, so I could run thirty-eight if you don't want the gun to move at all. Um, spoiler alert: This is not a lightweight pistol uh, by any stretch you of the imagination. It yeah, I, I waited out for the video. If I remember right, I think it was about fifty-four ounces. Um, so it's uh, you know it's like three pounds or something. <laughs> like it's. Does that come out to two and a half pounds? Something like that. Sixteen I don't ounces in a pound, right? Yeah, sixteen thirty-two forty-eight. So it'd be like three and a half pounds. Yeah, yeah. three and a half. Um, yeah. Ballpark. But anyway, this thing is it, it really is an incredible piece. Um, uh, Korth is a German uh, firearms company. For those of you that don't know, these are imported by uh, Nighthawk Custom that we've had on the channel multiple times. Um, but it's an eight-shot three fifty-seven. The cylinder is just buttery smooth. The action is just lovely, if you can hear. Just so crisp, it's just a great, and we added this, uh, you know, essentially just a weight at mm -hmm. the bottom of this, yeah. mainly because it looks awesome. Um, is it the coolest looking revolver? Yes. I think it is the coolest looking revolver. So coming in at the number nine spot, we have the Korth NXS. All right, so number eight brings us to 
something that I was pleasantly surprised with this year. Mm -hmm. Our boys over, formerly known as Militia Works, now known as Munition Works. Uh, he had to change his name. Don't ask why. Don't worry about it. And Finn's just doing... Just taking a dump right off the camera <laughs> over there. <laughs> and ran away from it. But... That brings us to uh, a rifle that, I, again, I was pleasantly surprised with this year. I've run in a couple different content uh, pieces that we've done as well as kind of the highlight video we did just for them. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, Munition Works, formerly known as Militia Works. High-end parts builder. Um, Dane is awesome. He's a nerd in a loving way. We say that with, with affection. You're a nerd with ARs, much like we would call other friends nerds with stuff, right? Yeah. It's a loving term. Yes. Hand-built, high-quality parts, adjustable gas block, kind of the one gun that I had built to do everything. And I've been running it on since the video for some CGS demos on my own personal stuff mm -hmm. and uh, it has not skipped a beat. So number eight this year, Munition Works. Number seven, um, this was kind of a passionate gun for me. I think both of us actually really like this one, but I was in the number seven spot and I picked the B&T KH9 Covert. Now this is gonna be a little bit of a unicorn. It's not something that is unobtainium like you can't get. You can, I don't even think at the time of this video they will be in the US yet. I imagine they will come in in small batches, but for those of you that didn't see the KH9 Covert video, worth a shot. And for those of you making fun of the acting on our parts in that video, we are gonna keep acting worse in every video. Yep. Okay, so the acting is not gonna get any better until we get an acting coach. But Cage 9 Covert is super cool. It's basically an escape and evasion gun that's designed to go behind the seats of like helicopters and, and boats and shit like that. And it kind of folds Spy into stuff. place. Spy I, stuff. I mean, it's just a, a fantastically cool gun that like, you know, fits in a sling bag that would be, I mean, such the ultimate gun for like, if you need something discreet that you could bring in and out of like buildings and, and everything. I mean, like, ju I, I just love that gun. Yep, that's I just cool. thought that thing was so cool. So cool. Yep. Top charging, under folder, you know, it's just, it's such a cool little little package. Yeah, and shame, shameless plug, but uh, Mason over at Peace of Mind, he is a um, fucking editor over there with his phone. He's watching TikTok videos, interrupting our shot. It's over but, there dancing. Um, anyway, Mason at Peace of Mind does, uh, I know he has some on order and he's a B&T dealer, so I would just suggest, you know, maybe kind of stay tuned to his site if you do want one of those. Sign up for his newsletter. Yeah, or sign up for the newsletter. It's going to sure be released on there, but guys. Anyway, again, they will be hard to get, but that is something you can get, and it's coming in at the number seven spot. Here he oh. comes. He's a wild man. He's a wild man. Across the finish line. So number six spot, another B&T product, mm -hmm. the B&T SPC-9. Mm -hmm. Now, all of us agreed, camera crew, Austin, you, me, that gun, aesthetically, Phenomenal. Great looking gun, yeah. Shoot, shootability. Excellent. Do you like it? Oh, it's I excellent. I love it. Excellent to shoot, yeah. Paired with the can, it's a beautiful little package. I think they knocked it out of the park with that. Some people, I've gotten some people, they're like, dude, I just don't get the point between that and APC. And I'm like, that's okay, you don't have to get it. That's fine. It's the slight point variations. Is this, yeah. Manual of arms mm -hmm. that we can transfer from a nine millimeter, nine millimeter PCC mm -hmm. to your duty weapon AR. Mm -hmm. And I really like that cross compatibility, right? Yeah. It's not gonna be exact, obviously, guys. Don't get hung up on the exact, but the cross compatibility, manual of arms, the way that gun looks, the way it shoots, the whole thing, I think they knocked it out of the park. I think they knocked it out of the park on that. And, and we try to be really objective on this list. Sure. Um, and BNT taking two spots, number six and seven, um, says a lot. And yeah. part of that is they put out so many new products all the time. It's kind of what we alluded to in the finale of the BNT series is the volume at which they put out new products is pretty unparalleled and you know inside of firearms world yeah and you know. and the why you know this was brought to commercial market yeah. because they developed it for you know a military unit they liked it so much they're like dude let's bring it to the to the co commercial civilian market and mm -hmm. when companies do that i applaud it mm -hmm. so yeah. bnt six and seven spot and with that said let's take you to a quick commercial break Friends, let me just take one quick second to tell you about a couple different ways you can support our channel. Obviously, we have our sponsors, but outside of that, we do have our Patreon. We would love it if you guys were on our Patreon. We've got a bunch of different tiers. You get exclusive, um, well, we do a giveaway a week uh, at different tiers, a bunch of behind the scenes stuff, monthly Q&As. You get early access to things like whiskey releases, merch. We have some merch that is printed only for Patreon that you get at certain tiers, so you can check that out. 
Otherwise, the 1911 Syndicate is a real estate company. For those of you that don't know, we actually, that's kind of the, the day gig, if you will, is selling real estate, and we do it all over the country. So um, if you need help with that, please let us know. Otherwise, 1911syndicate.com for anything else you wanna know. We got merch and all kinds of good stuff up there. Thanks for tuning in. Back to the video. Coming in at the number five spot. For me, a very special project. Sure. This would be the cabin inversion. Um, which is really kind of sort of two guns, but really I'd lump it into one because this was a matching set. This was um, easily the, the most complicated video that we've ever done. Uh, and the whole point was that the cabin inversion, which is their vintage classic model, um, inverted for a lefty, it is a completely reversed gun. So not just a flipped uh, mag release or something, but everything, everything is reversed down to the bullet spinning the opposite direction just to fully embrace the notion of, well, let's give you an inverted gun for an inverted hand human being such as myself. Um, and it's a really cool gun. Still goes in the category of a gun that, hey, probably over the time doesn't get shot that much. Uh, currently it resides on my uh, one of my uh, bourbon shelves as a fantastic display piece where both guns face each other in this super, super cool sure. case. But um, it is a, it's one of those things you appreciate because the only reason that it's made is really because you could. Because we can. Yeah, because we can do yep. that, and that's a cool thing to undertake versus us lefties really needing lefty guns. Sometimes it's like you just want cool things to get cool things. So coming in at the number five spot, Cabin Inversion. All right, Jake. In the number four spot, we have the Trajectory Arms SD. Okay. So this was originally made, well, I guess still made, I still use it, for me to run at uh, CGS demos. Mm -hmm. We chose a Hyperion K, built the gun around that. This is in 5.8 by 24, tapered barrel, custom tuned gas system, built to a 5. Basically, the gun's just perfect. Yeah, So I agree. Um, I think color scheme, the fit and finish, the why behind it just, I mean, Alex, I hate using that term too often, knocked it out of the park, but like, yeah. you knocked it out of multiple parts on there. I it's agree, I, gun. I love that gun. Even as a lefty, how do you feel about it? I love that gun, yeah. that, that, that's a great gun. That is something I would like to add to the personal uh, lineup at some point. I think that's a fantastic gun. I know he um, is is uh, re really still at this point, I talked to him like a day ago, uh, still getting all the, the parts sourced uh -huh. for it to be yep. able to actually do the run of these. So. For those of you that uh, were on the, I guess, you know, interest list or, or whatever we would call it, um, I do know he's getting pretty close to starting to get those bad boys going. So, yeah. And kind of cool, he's had quite a few orders for it. So, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad we, we were able to move the needle for him because he just did this to do it as a thank you and because he wanted the, the challenge. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've taken it to, since I've had it, I don't know, eight, nine, ten different CGS demos. It's kind of the highlight of the show. A lot of people have watched the video and they're like, can I shoot it? Oh, it's here. Cool. So, like, there's some hype behind it. And uh, it's just a great little platform, and he's done awesome with it. Yeah. So, awesome. number four, Trajectory Arms SD. All right, number three. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> no, you looked ridiculous. No, that looked good. That was fast. No, if you track the speed of you that. You looked like a baby deer trying to walk for Absolutely the first time. not, man. That would scare away a, a would-be attacker. No. Um, so, this is the Nighthawk Treasurer, a... Uh, fairly late in the year addition to the channel. Um, and this has really become my uh, carry gun and just a phenomenal gun. This is part of Nighthawk's boardroom series where basically you can go from the, you know, roughly 3.8 inch barrel of this to the four and a quarter to the five to the six, right? And they all basically look the same. They're just varying lengths and obviously grip sizes at that point too. Uh, but this is an officer, um, single stack, nine mil, um, couple features such as ambi safety and checkering underneath the trigger guard and fluted barrel hoods and crown barrels and like you know obviously with their um their uh, interchangeable uh, their ios interchangeable optic system with the house on eps like this has really become a gun that i've 
become quite fond of. You're carrying it quite a bit? Um, every day, yeah. Cool. This is my daily carry gun. Cool. Um, and I really, really love this thing. I've been very, very happy with it. They knocked it out of the park on this thing. Uh, aluminum frame to shave a little bit of weight, yada, yada, yada. You guys can check it the whole- It's nice for being a smaller, you know, single stack EDC gun. Yeah, so you guys can go check the review on this, but coming in at number three, Nighthawk Treasure. All right, Jake, coming in at number two, number one for me, I, since we reviewed these guns, have been ranting and raving and over the moon about it. Yes, you have. Langdon P30. Mm -hmm. So, HK P30 guys, LEM trigger that we had, well, not we had, Langdon does, uh, their modifications to some springs and then the, uh, was it the gray guns? Mm -hmm. Trigger, reset, yeah. flat face trigger. Flat face and the reset, yeah. And uh, I don't know, man, I never thought in like a snowball's chance in hell since we're in snow that I'd carry like a hammer fired Palmer gun. And they just, again, like we said throughout this whole video, knocked it out of the park. Yeah. I absolutely love this gun. And I shoot it so well to the point where you're like, I don't understand why you shoot that so good, but like it yeah. just fits me, man. Yeah, somehow you, you've really, yeah. um, really adapted and really come to love that. And I have a P30L, so I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm right there with you. I mean, ours are yep. basically identical except uh, the length. Um, they're phenomenal. Yep, that's I think a, they did a great a job. I'm gonna eventually end up owning the L and the SK. Yeah, So complete the family. Um, another funny thing too, Peace of Mind has a bunch of these, so. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. so check with uh, yeah, the yep. Peace of Mind boys if you need one. Right on, thanks guys, All number right. two. The big, bold, number one spot. Okay, <clears throat> the big number one spot. Can anyone at home guess? I'd be curious to read through the comments if anyone has picked up on it. I'll tell you this much, it is a rifle. <laughs> It is foreign. Is anyone getting this? It's from Switzerland, which many of you are going to be thinking B&T at this point, and you would be wrong, my friends, because it is the Sig 551. The Sig 551, everyone. I'm putting at the number one spot. Here's the deal on this thing. Much like a couple of my other picks, this isn't a pick because it will be my like it gets used all the time gun. Sure. I truthfully probably am not gonna shoot this that much. Not because it's a safe queen, just cause it's like, I'm probably just not really gonna shoot it a, a ton. But damn it, I, I have almost a weird love for this gun. How so? Like, I can't quite explain why I love it so much. But just you just do. do. Yeah. I, like I just do. It's like it does everything very well. It shoots incredibly soft. The trigger is a, you know, a giant pool of, of mush. Um, and for a lefty, the safety is very difficult, which is probably why I won't shoot it as much as I would a lot of other guns, just because the, the lefty side of the safety is very inconvenient. But um, in terms of something that is really pleasurable to shoot, this is way up there. Um, these, um, all the SIG 550 series, uh, which is referred to as 55X series, um, are imported by JDI Imports. That's where I bought mine from. I did buy this gun. Um, and he only imported, this is a 16 inch 551 of which there was only about 330 of them made. Um, and that's cause they just had that many barrels. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was about 330. Um, so anyway, yeah, it was based on, uh, how many barrels they had in Switzerland that had just been laying around since like the cold war. Yeah. Basically the cold war days. Um, and then afterwards this got modded out with BNT handguards and optics and lights and all that kind of stuff. We did a couple videos on this that you guys can go in reference. But in terms of a gun that uh, is just really cool and something that I love showing people when they're at the house or something, this is very much at the top of my list. Yep. So that's that guys, that is the year end top 10. Um, hopefully you saw a couple things in there that you like. I know that some of those things are in the unicorn-ish category. But still, you could buy them. Yeah, but they're not yeah. machine guns where it's like, well, you just can't buy that. You could buy all this stuff. Yep. It's gonna take a minute uh, and it's gonna cost a pretty penny, but um, you could buy some of this stuff. As a quick final thank you before we wrap up the video, um, our other channel sponsor, FLP Firearms Legal Protection. Just to give you the quick hit list here. Um, first things first, 1911 discount code knocks about uh, a third off of the price of their different things. They've got the individual basic, that winds up being 10 bucks a month. Basically covers you unlimited attorney fees in the state where you reside. Bunch of other cool stuff comes with it. The main one that people do is the individual premium. That's 22 bucks a month with the code. Covers you in all 50 states. So for you who travels a lot, ding, ding, ding. That's what I go with. Right, that's what we need. Yep. Um, bail bond premium, expert witness fees, 
counseling support, incident cleanup, because someone's got to clean it up. I'm not doing it. I ain't cleaning it up. Nope. I ain't cleaning it up. Someone else clean it up, right? So they pay that guy. They pay that guy, right? And then, uh, you know, they'll even so uh, give you, I mean, it's dark, you know, and they'll even give you a payment for your firearm if it gets confiscated, as long as it's legally justified shooting, all that kind of stuff. And they got a family plan if you got kids, which, you know, probably none of you do who watch this channel, um, you know, uh, in case the kids are slinging lead, you know, who knows. Um, but anyway, that's that, guys. We'll go ahead and wrap up this video. But I think if I remember right, this will probably actually be our final video of 2022, yeah. um, if I recall. So... I guess as a part, I mean, do we have any parting words for people for the year? Just thank you to everyone that's been supporting us this last year. You know, our uh, viewership and subscribership has gone up uh, over this last year by almost about double. Yeah, roughly. Which is pretty cool. I uh, really appreciate you guys' support. I know that our channel may be a little different than other channels because we do whatever the hell we want because we pay for this bitch. So on that note, thank you guys. Uh, yeah, dark way to end it from Chris there. Uh, no, thank no. you for no, just saying. <laughs> yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, the dog here says thank you for tuning in. He believes that most of you watch because you want gratuitous clips of the dog um, running in the snow, uh, which he's very much enjoyed doing today. But you guys have a great uh, end of the year. We got a great January of content lined up. Some really cool like banger videos that'll be coming in the new year. So yeah. stay tuned. Check that out. Subscribe to the channel. Drop us a comment. All that good jazz. We'll see you guys in the new year. Thanks, guys.